Hello everyone, uh, welcome to part 106 of e-com series in Laravel 5.6 and 5.7. And in this video, we are going to continue working on forward password feature that we have started in last video. And in last video, you have seen that we uh, able to create uh, the forward password page and able to create that uh, forward password form and able to allow the user to uh, send his email ID and uh, we just display the email ID. And if email ID is incorrect, then it will show error message, email does not exist if the email ID is incorrect. And if the email ID is correct, then we are going to send that forward password email to the user with new password. And that new password we are going, going to generate uh, with uh, the function, there is bcrypt function uh, that we are going to uh, generate uh, for the uh, new password, okay? So let's start working on it, okay? So here, we are going to uh, first of all we are going to get user details and we can write like this to get the user details so that it will be more clear to us so we can get the user details uh, simply by creating variable and get from the user model and we are uh, email uh, we will specify the email uh, dollar data email okay like this it will come like this and here it will come first okay so here uh, by which uh, here we will get that email okay so after that uh, we will generate a random password okay after getting the user details uh, now we are going to generate the random password okay so uh let's generate the random password i will write it like here generate random password okay so that we know our all these steps okay and even uh this user details you can do later on but it's fine we will do step by step and generate a random password here we'll create one more valuable like random underscore password okay so here we are going to uh, use the bcrypt function for creating the random password. But uh, first of all, uh, we will create the random password uh, from str underscore random function, str underscore random. Okay, this function we are going to use uh, to create the password and we want to create of eight, uh, means eight characters, eight alphanumeric characters, we can see here that which password we are going to create we can put it die we can see the output here okay so uh, we can click here with i mean 100 at development.com is this and we can see here that uh, the password looks like this a u n w p t o c okay so uh, this is uh, alphanumeric kind of password we can uh, refresh once again and we see new password will generate yc in small then four in uh, four numeric then s in small then u in caps then s in small then l in caps then j so alphanumeric pa password we are generating with small and upper cases so that is the perfect password that we can generate but we need to encode this password this is not in encoded form right now so we will encode this password with bcrypt function, okay? So that we are going to use now. Now we have created that random password. Now we need to uh, secure this password, okay? So we will write encode, okay? Or we can say secure password, okay? Encode, so uh, let's do it. And here we will give it that new password that uh, we have uh, to uh, means uh, update in our user table and here we will use the function bcrypt that function i am talking about bcrypt function we are going to uh, encode uh, in the hash uh, password means uh, means to store in our user table we need to encode uh, this password with bcrypt function uh, so that uh, we can uh, store it in the same format 
get the laravel box okay so uh, here we are going to add this random underscore password uh, variable okay so here once again we can see this password uh, it will be shown uh, in alphanumeric kind of thing uh, but uh, is long enough like this kind of thing it's going to be shown like this kind of thing okay so let's see it and uh, see you can see here that uh, its form is like this okay so uh, this is uh, we are going to generate and we'll update in our table user table okay so let's uh, update this one in our uh, user table so let's update it update password okay here okay here we are going to update uh, user where email email we already know dollar data email coming in dollar data email okay so here we are going to update this password update and password and this new password we will now set in db this new password we will update uh, the password the new password replacing the old password like this okay so after updating the password in user table uh, now uh, we need to send forgot password email to the user we need to write here uh, forgot password script okay uh, that uh, we have done for the uh, register uh, email as well earlier on so here we will write send forgot uh, password email script okay this is the email code again email code okay so here we are going to uh, first uh, create one email variable that we are going to use and this one we can pick from the email itself or the data email is already given here okay so we can simply take this one regular data email okay this email we're going to post uh, we're going to use dollar email okay so after this we're going to use dollar message data okay and in this uh, we are going to create array and here uh, we are going to add email we're going to add email and email dollar email like this and password we already having this new password in password okay like this password okay now both email and password uh, we are sending okay and this one we can close it this okay so this one uh we can make it more clear like this okay so that it will be more clear okay so now after uh, in this we are going to add that mail send this is the uh, function of laravel to send the email and here uh, we will create one file in, in emails folder that is forgot password okay that will have the html of forgot password email uh, that we will create after this step okay and dollar messy data uh, that we have just created okay and after that we will start the function and in which we will add dollar message okay and we are going to use here dollar email okay like this and after this we are going to click on this one and here as well so here we are going to add dollar message once again and this one to this dollar email like this then subject we are going to add here 
subject in subject we are going to add new password okay and that will be econ website like this okay and fine so this is the script uh, that we have added new password at ecom website so means this one we have added in the same form like we have added in register email okay here we have also added that uh, send register email script earlier on and then we have uh, completed a two confirmation email okay so same thing we have done here as well and and uh, yeah so uh, here uh, I'm now I'm going to create this forgot password blade file in emails folder. Okay, same like we have created that register uh, email here. So this we can open this office views uh, after emails. Okay, same like register email. I'm going to pick it like this. Save as we are going to add it like or go to password okay so i'm going to add this for the password email and here i'm going to write for go to password email and dear dollar name okay dollar name we are not sending but we can send the dollar name as well okay so for dollar name we can simply here add dollar name and uh, that name we will get it from user details okay user details name details so like this and here as well you can send the name name and this one name. okay so this name we are going to use here you can here we are going to write uh, your password has been successfully updated. Uh, okay. Uh, your new your account information is just below. Okay, that's not an issue. Uh, here we will not write this one because we have already updated. Here we are going to update this one like this. Your password. Okay. Here we can write new password like this. Okay. It's below. New password. Okay, so uh, now we are going to test it. Uh, we are sending the new password here, and now we are going to test whether it will come fine or not. Okay, I'm going to refresh it properly, and we'll see whether it will work fine or not. Okay. So I'm going to use your mail. Uh, I'm going to see if I will put a bit 200 at the top. It will say email does not exist. So I need to enter the correct email. I'm going to add a bit 100 at the top of your uh, But see, we uh, just need to add that redirect function also. Uh, but first of all, we will see that whether the email will go or not. Okay it has shown that it has gone and I'm now I'm going to uh, open that view of mail and we'll open Amit under at the top of mail.com and we we'll see that if email has been gone or not and you can see a new password email has come here but oh sorry for that uh, this is not going fine there is uh, some issue and we will see a uh, new password is here okay 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 fine this password we need to send uh, that random password in email because we will not send encrypted password encrypted password encoded password encrypted password uh, we will just save in the db but here we are going to send the random password okay so we will do once again and uh, we'll see on the thunder at the top of the .com. and one more thing we are going to do we are going to return uh, it to uh, that login form okay so uh, return redirect we will redirect the user to the login form uh, after uh, means creating the password okay with the uh, message success message okay with Slash message success. Here it will come. Please 
step uh, your name for new password. Okay. Okay, this one uh, we have created. Uh, this is your email for new password, and uh, this one uh, we have created here. And find this. So uh, uh, now we check once again. We're going to refresh once again. Uh, and here I'm going to add that email once again. Amit. Uh, 100 at gmail.com and we'll click on submit and we'll see if the email is coming fine or not. Please check your email for new password if the message has come and we will see whether the uh, this time the email has come fine or not. The password your account has been sexually updated. Your confirmation is as below the new password. Email is this one, and new password is this one. I'm going to copy this new password, and now I'm going to try here. Uh, email is amit hundred at rate of gmail com, and password I'm going to paste it here, and we'll see whether it will work fine or not. Mm. And you can see the password is working fine. Okay, the reset password is working fine. We able to send the new password to users whenever user forgot his old password okay uh, so it is working fine you have seen it yourself that uh, the user can able to generate the new password after clicking on for the password link after adding uh, his email account his valid email account like steve hundred at the top of mail.com uh, see it does not exist at all uh, we can check some other user as well like this one okay this user uh, we can uh, mean simply uh, give the email id of the user to get the new password in email and uh, then the message will display to check your email for new password and then we are going to check in your panel use your pen for such kind of uh, things okay see here then new password comes here uh, in email with the email as well comes here and now this new password we have given here and that is the email of the user and see here be able to now log in with that password okay so now i hope that everything is clear now you can implement the forward password functionality as well at your end okay so that's all for now. In next video, we will do more. Uh, still, many features, many new features uh, are left to do. So, we will uh, cover it one by one. Okay. Then, have a nice time. Goodbye.